Welcome Pisces. I hope everybody's having a great day. For those of you that are new, I'm extremely happy and grateful that you're here. Cross watchers, the same. Um, this is going to be a reading for the current situation, what needs to come through, who needs to hear it the most. So do take what resonates and make sure you always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement readings because there will be messages for you within those readings that sync up with what resonates here. Okay, I am going to make it as personal as possible, so do stick around to the end. We're going to pull from multiple decks. I am giving away a $100 gift card giveaway from now until the 15th will be the giveaway. Um, all I need you to do is become a subscriber so you can take part in these monthly giveaways. And for this month, I am going to close it out early, but from now until the 15th, leave a gift emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine. Um, and then at the end of the giveaway on the 15th, around that date, I'm going to remind everybody who did participate to check their notifications, the little bell in the top right hand corner of everyone's YouTube homepage because one person will be hearing from me. I'm going to cut it short on the 15th just to allow some time for me to get the gift card to that person in time for the holidays. And then we'll resume the monthly giveaways in January and it will be free readings that I'm giving away in January. All right. For my Pisces, most important messages that need to come through for you guys. All right, let's see what came out. Look at this. You're happy ever after. Look at that faint rainbow in the distance. There is emotional happiness coming towards you. All right, I'm sorry that I had to pause that. UPS guy was coming with Christmas packages. Mental health. So I feel like a hard ending that might have happened in your life. Um, I feel like you might have been dealing with someone who had some form of an addiction. This keeps coming up. I feel just a dark night of the soul type of energy. Now, Pisces, this could be your energy cross watchers. Like I said, you know, you could have been dealing with a Pisces that was going through this. But I feel like a dark night of the soul. I do feel, though, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I feel healing. I feel strength to overcome what is being felt and gone through, what you've dealt with in the past. Yes. Look at this. You are aligning for something amazing to come through, Pisces. In the right timing, in perfect timing, that gate is going to open and you're going to receive something amazing. For those of you dealing with somebody that is going through a dark night of the soul, seems very toxic in the moment, might have had a rough childhood, you or your person, there is the rainbow, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's coming. Let's see what else I can get you. For my Piscean spirit, the most important messages that need to be received in this reading. Yeah, divine guidance. Look at this. Divine guidance is leading you to something amazing. Something you're going to be excited for. It's it, Spirit is saying you are in for an adventure. Keep going. Whatever it is that you, you are going through right now that is difficult, that feels like a burden, that feels like it's weighing on you, and possibly a certain connection, a relationship, keep going. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and good things are about to be received. All right. It's like after every storm, there is a rainbow, is the message I just got. Six of Pentacles, the King of Swords, Temperance, 
Ten of Cups. I feel someone was very, you know, very difficult to get emotions out of. It, you know, they were very stern on how much they were going to allow you in. Um, they stayed very guarded because they were afraid to allow love in. They stayed very focused on where they wanted to move within their life, basically trying to control every aspect. But I feel like you've made an impact on this person, Pisces. You showed up very comforting. You showed up um, very nurturing. And it's made a huge impact on this person. It's like within their heart, you left an impact, an impression. And I feel that this King of Swords realizes you brought a, t a different type of energy into their life than they were used to. You brought happiness. That light into their darkness. That healing aspect of you just being in their, in their light. And they're starting to think long term. I do feel that this person wants to open that gate and allow light into their life. And that does involve you. They see a future with you. Water energy. So it could be a fellow water sign. We also have Sagittarius. This wanted to come out. We also have Sagittarius and Aries. Like I said, we have air energy here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Earth. So do take what resonates because we do have all signs. What resonates within your chart and what you know of this person. Yeah, see. It's like you're wondering, will we get a second chance? Why did they show up in my life this way? Why weren't they allowing me in? You might have even been ghosted by this person and left with no explanation. Yeah, see, the burden is real. This person had a... They weren't in their best energy. I feel like spirit was protecting you. You thought it was rejection, but it was really protection. This person was not in their best energy to be able to move forward with. I feel it was part of their karma, you being in their life and then losing you. You were something that ignited the fire within them to get them through their burdens. It's very well possible that they might have been ghosted or gaslighted in a past relationship in their lifetime, maybe from as a childhood. You know, constantly people being in and out of their life and they just couldn't allow themselves open to receive another heartbreak the way they were looking at it. Yeah, I feel like they've been watching you all along. This is just this has been just as hard for them as it is been for you. You don't know that because they played that King of Swords type energy. That mental stubbornness. But I do feel like they're taking charge. They have a lot of passion for you. They're coming in. I feel like they're watching from afar. They may, you know, send you a direct message or an email, reconnect with you through social media, ask you how you're doing, and take it from there. But there is forward movement here. And it's about to get exciting. I truly feel like this person's watching from afar, feeling like you're moving on without them. But I feel deep down your thoughts go to them every once in a while. I also feel this person has done the best they can to find stability within their own life and to move further, like with their confidence. And look, there's that wreath, and we are around the holidays. I do feel. You are going to hear from this person. Let's see what else we can get. 
for my Pisces. Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, I got to tell you, the shifting of energy here is a cosmic gift from the universe. Pisces, you stood back up through this hard ending and through multiple things that have happened in your life. And I feel that because of your persistence and your resilience, this blessing is coming in. Someone that wants long term with you. Wants to hand over their offer, their cup of love wants to come clean and be open with you. Lower their sword. This King of Swords has definitely caught feelings. Let me see what else. Spirit, why is this King of Swords here twice? Yeah, they've done a lot of soul searching. They realize they fell deeply for you. I feel a magnetic connection here. For those of you that were intimate with this person, that was not the issue. A lot of intimacy that was very passionate, very, very romantic, very just, that was, you know, it was the equal give and take that was the issue. But now, like I said, cosmic gift from the universe, shifting in energy here. Why is the six of pentacles here twice? Yeah, they're going to... Do what it takes to show you that they're all in. And part of the hurt here, part of them defending themselves, they may have kept their options open. They may have, um, in, you know, it was a love triangle or they, you know, they made you part of a third party. It's what truly happened was they didn't want to put any labels on anything. That was the way they protected themselves. If they went from connection to connection and didn't get too deep, they weren't becoming vulnerable. But you are about to hear from someone that sees a future with you and wants to overcome these obstacles. All right, let's see what else we can get to bring you additional clarity. Oh, all right, we're not going to take those, but look at this, the sun twice. Positive outcome to this connection leaving their burdens behind, what makes them feel weighed down. It could have even been a toxic marriage, a toxic relationship that they were trapped in. They're leaving this behind and coming towards you. And like I said, they will do what it takes to make you see that they are serious. Look at this. I wasn't going to take it. Look at the phoenix rising right in the middle, divinely guided, gate opening, overcoming the obstacles with the elephant. You may even find yourself dreaming about this person. They're dreaming about you also. For some of you, it's going to be as soon as one to two weeks that you hear from them. And it's this, it's like they're moving towards their sweet nectar, which is you. Like I said, you cause them excitement. You cause them, some, you know, In distance, they're like, why do I keep still thinking about them? Why do I keep still thinking about Pisces? Because they can't overcome their feelings for you. You left an impression on this big bad bear. You left an impression where they just can't walk away from it. It makes them want to lower their sword. And they are. They're fearlessly trudging through their stress, their anxiety, their, their fears, what makes them feel defeated. Wanting to move towards you. Survival of the fittest and coming towards you even stronger. All right. Amazing, amazing connection. Amazing story and how it's going to turn out. We have A, I, L, T, N, O, E, 
C H. All right. Take what resonates. Leave that gift emoji down below for any of you who want me to tune into just your energy. Um, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box of each and every reading. My sh shop is open. It is restocked. And it will stay that way as, as long as I can deliver within the turnaround time of 7 to 14 days. Um, I am actually delivering much sooner than that. But at a moment, you know, during the holiday season that I may get overwhelmed, I may have to pause it. But for right now, it's there to take advantage of. So much love and light, guys.